Hello, my name's Justin, and my pronouns are he, his, and him. My name's Elsie, uh, my pronouns are she and her. I'm Isma Avionova, I have no preferred pronouns, so I don't care what you call me. I never came out to my father because I'm afraid of him and I'm afraid to um, get kicked out of the house. But I did come out to my mother. It was summer. Um, I was in high school. Just finished my sophomore year. And we had just come home from visiting my grandmother. And we were in the car on the way home and she, we were discussing that and we were arguing and she's all like, lesbians are very mean and people in general and I was like no they're not and she's just like what are you gay and I'm like no I'm bisexual and she just kind of like stopped for a second looked at me then put her eyes back on the road like I had like a really like bad like event that happened to me mm -hmm. and like because of my like sexuality like I just felt like really mm -hmm. unsafe at home so like I just like tried to take my own life and um that's when I came out to my dad because like he wanted to know like why like what was going on and I told him like what was going on, or my sister like told him, and like my dad like literally did not give a fuck. Like he was like so cool with it, and like it made things a lot easier. But my mom like is like really religious, so I didn't like try to come out to her. Like she asked me like what was going on, but I never told her. And like I always knew that she suspected, but like she never really said anything. And then when I graduated, I bleached my hair, and like that's what started me coming out because my mom was really mad, and she's like, oh like only girls bleach their hair. Like is there something you need to tell me? And I told her, but she didn't really get it. Like, she kind of ignored it. My parents have told me a few times um, that no matter what, like, who you like or who you want to be with, that w they're going to be okay with it. And that's kind of been on the back of my mind for, like, a, a lot of years already because it's kind of like a sense of security because it's like, okay, they wouldn't care if I came out. I can do it. It's just whether I'm comfortable doing it. Most of my family, I really don't know anyone else in my family that's like came out as gay or is like married to a guy or married to another girl. It's like oh, the way of like life, I guess, or the way of our heritage that a guy has to marry a girl and a girl has to marry a guy. And it's like you have to marry in that way or else you can't at all. So it kind of puts an extra strain on me because I'm kind of the first, I guess. I don't know, I feel like I'll be a disappointment in a way because I'm going to marry someone they wouldn't want me to marry. Uh, my mom grew up in a very conservative um, place. Of, well, Mexico is very religious, Catholic-wise, uh, and um, my grandmother raised them to be very Catholic. And she doesn't really like pray or anything. Um, she still holds those ideals. So by that, they transfer on they transfer on to how she accepts the LGBT community. Because I was like saying that I had to like feel less like Mexican and feel more queer at a time. So like I definitely do feel more queer. So like um, like queer issues like really like like they catch my attention more like like just like straight up like Pac issues. But when it's like cute Pac issues, then it's like a you know it's like, like beautiful because like I truly care about that because it's like both of my identities. But like I definitely feel more queer. Being like Mexican, like you, it was kind of like you pick and choose, like you either like you're gonna like be closeted and like live like a lie, or I'm gonna be queer and like be happy, you know. So I was like, I'm gonna be queer. Now is not the time to like back up and go back into the closet. Like now is the time to like be like a raging homosexual or a raging queer person because like existence is resistance and as long as we're taking up space like we're like resisting. You'll find your spaces to where you will feel that you belong to. You'll find people that are like you and you will find someone who will love you for who you are. It's just a matter of time. 
if I was like talking to my past self, I would just be like, just don't be scared. It's not like a big deal. Like you can't change the way you are and you shouldn't be scared in like telling people who you really are.